Hi guys, what's up and welcome back for another mod showcase review and tutorial. And today we are going over a mod that really got my attention. It is a small, very small mod with only 500 downloads as of the moment. But I'm going to be running you through this mod and why I quite enjoy it and think there's a lot of good stuff to come in the future for this mod. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then slap that like button. And if you have any mods that you would like me to review, let me know in the comment section down below. But, let's get on with this one. So, this mod is called the Dystopia mod. And now, this, for a, such a small mod, and this is this mod creator's first ever mod, um, it has quite a lot to it. It has loads of new tools and weapons. It has some new blocks, ores, armors, and even a new dimension, along with all other mobs added to that dimension, and new structures. So this mod, for being so new and small, uh, really offers a lot. So let's go over some of the bits about this mod. Now, there are a few new blocks added in, as I was just saying, some new withered blocks and dystopian blocks. So the new dimension is called the dystopia, where you'll find lots of new blocks. So here we have the chisel and um, the withered, new withered blocks, and then we have some polished cinder blocks found in the overworld. But then we come down to the dystopian blocks. So we have dystopian wood, logs, leaves, planks, Stairs, everything you would expect to find in, well, the dystopia dimension. Very standard stuff, so I look forward to more biomes and more blocks being added in as that comes along. But, blocks you'll find in the overworld are going to be the steel ores, the rubies, which I have behind me here. So steel ore, and you can see it's steel block up there. Ruby ore, we also have the lifestone, the andesanite, kedzin, and chemical remains. So these are a few new blocks which look great I must say. I enjoy the texture on them and I think they will really add a lot to the world especially if you're going to use these for decoration purposes which is what I would personally use them for. But they aren't just used for decoration they are used obviously to make the new armor sets as well and obviously the new tool sets. Now we have quite a few new tools and weapons as well, obviously the steel, the ruby, and then we have the crying sword which is made out of the new crying obsidian. It's a mystic block seen only by the bravest of warriors capable of creating the legendary crying armour. You will find crying obsidian in the new dimension which will obviously use to craft a lot of this new strong weaponry and armour. We also have the crying chest plate and we have the reinforced crying armor as well so to create all of this stuff we'll give you a brief look we also have an awesome looking axe I, i've got to say um crafting these ones is just the same as crafting all the other normal bits of armor you find the ores you get their bits there you go just like that but to craft all this stuff you're going to need lots of mystic crying obsidian and to craft the mystic crying obsidian you are going to need general crying obsidian, gold, and neverite rod powder, which are obviously taken from neverite rods, which are new to this mod as well, which are made from this. So it is not easy to craft this stuff. You need a lot, and it's hard enough to craft um, neverite ingot as it is. Um, so this is, is a grafting mod. You can't just complete this mod in one day. There is a lot to it. There is a lot of progression in this mod. You aren't just going to be bored within the first 10 minutes of playing it. And there are a lot of structures to explore as well. And some of these swords are just awesome as well. Dropped by some of the mob bosses and some of the mobs in this mod. And we have a few of those down here. So the reinforced crying obsidian is made from enchanting it pretty much. So there you go. That's how to make all the armors. Well, brief, brief overview of how to make them anyway. But let's go on, put some of this stuff on. I'm excited to see what I look like in it. Okay, so we'll take that, we'll take that, and we'll take that. Now we'll see what we look like. And I think it looks pretty cool. There's still a lot to go with this mod. As I said, it is very new. And I do hope they progress it a little bit in the texture-wise. I, 
I'm not an overall fan of the um, Mystic armors. Uh, I actually really prefer the Ruby armor personally. That, but that's just me. And I just realised I forgot to put out the uh, the Ketzin armor as well. But yeah, that's another one in this mod as well, guys, for you to check out. And as the same, we've got some amazing looking weapons here. I do like the textures on the weapons though. I am a big fan of that. Now, let's talk about how we can get to this dimension and battle some of these mobs. So we are going to have to craft this portal right here. And this portal is made out of withered cobblestone, which is a new block yet again added to this mod. It is made by using witherbone dust, which obviously dropped from withers. And cobblestone to craft one withered cobblestone and then you're just gonna to need to build a normal portal like this but to activate this portal you are going to need the soulless flower and you craft this guy by using the silver knight sword and a dead tulip once a promise of love and loyalty now accompanies her husband's dead body yet again found in the world guys and it's found in the new structures around the world you can't craft this sword, you can only find it. And we're going to be showing you, hopefully in a second, how to find it in one of the structures. But mainly you've got to kill it off one of the silver knights. But they are found in their either a knight tower or a knight fortress. So, let's go see if we can find one of those. The silver knights can be found in the snowy tundras and in the dystopia or in these structures and the other structures as I previously mentioned around the world. But for today I could only find this little structure. But you will come across these knights and you will obviously have to kill them. They have 40 HP and are extremely hostile. I'm not going to go into survival today to fight them. I'm just here to hopefully get some drops from them and see what they do drop us. So this one dropped us a steel ingot. But we are looking for one of their swords. So come on, drop us one of your swords. I'm currently using a Neverite sword myself. Okay, dropped us a shield. That's alright, I guess. But let's see what this one is going to drop us. Ah, another steel ingot. But eventually when you find enough and you fight enough, you will get dropped one of their swords. Hopefully, hopefully you will. And it is this sword right here. Now, you've got to take this sword and you've got to mix it with, uh, where is it, the dead tulip, which as I previously stated, can be found around the world. So take it just like that and we'll get a crafting box out, block out, I don't know why I said block, uh, crafting table out, there we go, bish bash wash, pop that there, pop that there, and that is going to give you the soulless flower. Now we're going to take this back to our portal and activate the portal. So before we do jump in through the portal, I should also say you can find the Black Knight around the world as well, yet again, mainly and or well only found in the structures in this world. And then we have the Decaying Knight, so this is the actual mob that does drop the dead tulip. And then obviously, as I previously showed, with that combined with the sword, gives you the soulless flower. But this guy is going to be the guy you're going to be looking out for. Only spawns in the overworld. It's essentially a zombified version of the other knights. But there you go. Hopefully we'll drop you a dead tulip. But keep finding them. Keep hunting them. So going to use the soulless flower to activate that. And then, lovely, jump on through. Once through the portal, you'll see it's a rather grey, dingy and dark world. I'm using night vision potion at the moment so I can see, mainly for the purposes of the episode. First mob we have come across is the Apprentice. These can only be found in Dystopia. They have 25 HP and can drop phantom membranes. Let's see what else is up for grabs around this world. So down here it seems we have some more silver knights. And some more apprentices, by the looks of things. Let's see what else is around here. You obviously get normal mobs in this world as well. Here we have the Kashiba. I can't no, even barely pronounce that. Can be found in roofed forests and in the dystopia, obviously. Hostile, very fast. They deal around three hearts of damage, so strong as well. Can spawn silverfish when attacked. So want to watch out for this guy. He is, as I said, he is absolutely rapid and always drops her sword. So, not all, oh, oh, well, sorry, can 
give you a mask that gives you night vision. So killing this guy can give you a mask that gives you night vision. Uh, oh, no, we got a silverfish with this guy. Oh, well. But this is the mask they are on about. I shall show you that. This one. Yes. So you don't always need to have the night vision potion. You can have that as well. But, yeah, there you go. And as you can see, you get lots of crying obsidian around here. Which is great. It's, it's like plentiful. It is all over this place, in fact. You get sort of similar biomes that correspond with the dystopia biome. So you get the, essentially, the spruce dystopian biome. You get the dystopian mountain biomes. And you get the dystopian, what I presume would be almost the savannah biome. So it's, it's just their dystopian versions of them. You also get in this world. It's not too different. Um, between the different areas it's more just the different tree structures and landscape layout I do hope they add in more biomes into the dystopian dimension which I would rather enjoy to be honest but here we have the first structure or well really the main structure in this world it has the Elena boss and she is only found in this dystopian temple. She is very strong and the place is surrounded with indestructible quartz. So you can't break through the side because in here, as you see, there is some very nice treasure in the back. But normally around this place you will find lots of knights and you will tend to find her own version of her knights around here as well. I'm trying to see if I can find one as of the moment. If not, we'll just spawn one in. So let's see if we can find one of her knights. So that's, yeah, here we go. So you'll find these around the area as well. Holding to the pattern of the mob boss as well, as you'll see in a minute, it has the mob boss distinct colors. But as I was saying, you can't tunnel in from the side because this stuff is, well, because I'm in creative, it's not indestructible, but in survival, it most certainly is. So, you'll have to go in here and defeat this boss. Very, very strong boss, 400 HP. And it can be, it can take up to six hearts of damage away. And it will always drop her sword. Now, let's take a look at what sword she drops. Here we go. As you can see, a very strong sword. Does 17 attack damage and looks pretty awesome. So... I'm not going to probably, oh, I'll say I'm not going to probably waste time hitting them. But yeah, she will spawn in her knights as well to protect her. She is not here to mess around. So not only do you have to deal with her, you've got to deal with her very strong knights as well. Never right sword is going to be the minimum thing you're going to want to use against these guys. But once you've done that, take up all the knights pretty yours. Kill all the knights to see what they give you. And then yeah, just pretty much take everything from this place because it looks awesome and then escape through the doors. But that is the main structure of this world. Guys, I was going to show you the Golden Knight structure, but I'm just gonna show you the mob for that instead because I cannot find it for love nor money around this world today for whatever reason that is. But here we have the Golden Knight. It's the sort of, it's not really, I wouldn't really call it a mob boss. It's more of a mini boss. For this mod to be honest and we have a wither skeleton lovely so gotta watch out for those guys as well fantastic but you have this guy and he is pretty awesome looking a very strong knight that spawns in on his ruins but can also spawn naturally but it's very very rare and has a 175 hp deals a lot of damage and can drop gold neverite rod powder and his emblem and his emblem looks like ooh, that. There you go. The secret to immortality. Great, lovely stuff. We all want that secret, don't we? But there we go, guys. That is the dystopia mod. I want to know what you guys think about this mod. It is a very, very new mod. And as you can see, there is a lot of stuff that does need improving, I think, texture-wise. And there is a lot of stuff yet to be added, which I am excited for. But let me know if you guys are going to be going downloading this mod. The mod link will be down in the description below because finding this one just by Googling it is a nightmare. So use the link below to find this mod, download it, play it through, let me know what you think. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.